Hey friends, so I am back with a life update video. I just wanted to come on here to say Happy New Year. I know I'm late, it's April. <laughs> Happy New Year. A lot has been going on, that's why I've been in my A. But if you're new here, my name is Vivi. I am a fashion and style content creator. And on this channel, I do mostly haul and styling videos. If that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And all of my subscribers, I am back. I am so happy. And yeah, so I have a lot to say today. So let's just jump into this video. As you all know, I was pregnant and my pregnancy so far, it was smooth, just a little aches and you know, here and there. But to be honest, everything went pretty smooth. Thank God for that. Pretty smooth on January 5th, I had my reveal shower my girlfriend emily love if you guys i mean some of you guys already follow her and subscribe to her but i'm gonna show a couple of clips of um the shower it was beautiful it was elegant it was everything i wanted she made sure she put everything together it was oh my goodness i had the best time ever it snowed really bad but all my friends and family my in-laws they managed to come through it was so beautiful i just fell in love my husband and i and yeah so as you know i have two boys and finally i had a girl and i'm just so excited just looking at her over here i'm gonna show you guys some clips of her and i'm gonna you know try to she's sleeping right now so i'm able to come and do this life update video after the shower which was on january january 6th on february 5th i went into labor Everything was so smooth. The baby came out like one minute. Like seriously. I was so scared at first because everybody was saying, oh, the third try is a mystery. The third try is usually easy. And I just left everything to God. And I'm like, you know what? You've been, we've been down the road before. My first, you know, my pain level is this much. But I managed to have my first without epidural natural as soon as i arrived at the hospital i was 10 centimeter there's no you know <laughs> no room for epidural anyway so i had him his name is nolan and then i had my second his by the time i got to the hospital it was like seven centimeter and then i was like eh, i can do this power through 20 something minutes he was out her her water broke in the car as well she didn't know what water broke in my husband's car by the time we got there she was sending seven centimeter, like in a few minutes, it was 10. This girl came out, like just one push, she came out. The whole body came out. And she weighed like 7, 14 compared to the boys. And also she stretched the hell out of my stomach. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen how big my stomach was and people could not believe I only had one baby in there. But yeah, as God could have it, I had this pretty little lady called Noelle and i am just feeling so blessed and happy and i'm just glad everything went smooth one of the things that i don't like when i went into labor was the fact that you know i'm pretty calm subtle i'll bite my teeth going through all the pain and stuff like that which wasn't too bad because i already have a monthly period pain that hurts so bad so it was just a little like above that when it when it comes to the delivery pain or um contractions and stuff so yeah i'm sorry i just keep looking at her and yeah so yeah so everything went smooth the nurses did not take me seriously because i was seven centimeter and i was smiling but i was in a lot of pain you know and after pain so i had her every day stayed a couple of days in the hospital everything went well my friends came to see me it was beautiful we did some pictures everything went smooth i was discharged came home and after pain was like oh my goodness was the worst pain ever for my second son the after pain was so bad it lasted two weeks for her the after after pain lasted almost about four weeks and <laughs> i was only taking like tylenol like maybe 200 milligrams and stuff like that because after watching oh, this is series on netflix um purdue purdue what is it purdue not purdue it had to do with um addictions and stuff so i just got like really scared i don't want to take anything too hard but like i said i've been feeling so blessed as god who have it i'm okay but yeah so i had the baby 
no well i just thought i should put a video together like going home the third child my mom came over she helped me out a little my mother-in-law helped me out a little but you know when it's third everybody thinks you got it so we've been managing on our own the boys have sports and then i have to you know turn to her my husband took some time off he has like um paternal leave and um bounty leave so he's been helping out a lot or like the dinner, taking the boys to, to the different sports activities and stuff like that. And all I have to do is just, you know, wash her when he come home. Um, he takes over and then I try to spend some time with the boys just to try to have everything together. You know, try to balance everything. Balancing is key in this, um, in our new life. <laughs> but yeah, everything's been fine. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. If you've been following me on Instagram, you notice that I have been really um, active on there. Not too active, but I've been posting here and there. And in my story, for the most part, is where I've been like posting behind the scenes, like you know what we're going through at home, the struggles, the two to three hours of sleep breastfeeding everything by the way i wanted to show you guys my outfit but as much as i try to look decent i have to breastfeed every two to three hours so stains are getting on my clothes i think i have some stuff on my trench so i just had this you know going on but yeah it's all cream and you know with babies of course i'm trying to still wear all cream when i should be wearing dark clothes but you know when you have that style in you is just in you there's nothing i can do i'm just gonna just ride it out until um you know i don't know how long i'm gonna breastfeed for but maybe six months to a year you guys here hey noel all right so she's just waking up from her sleep but i wanted to come on here to tell you guys thank you so much for all the patience how is it you still sleeping but crying <laughs> all right let me pick her up i'm gonna say hi yo say hi yo my name is Noel. Hi yo. She got her little soup thing going on. We try to mash. It's like <laughs> my little mini me trying to mash up. But yeah, so um she's not hungry. I just fed her. I think she just wanna be hell. But yeah, so guys, thank you all so much. If you've been following me on Instagram, thank you for all the love. I know some of you guys reached out to see what I was what I'm up to and I've been MIA for a long time. Thank you all so much. I hope your new year is going great. I have a few set of goals that I want to accomplish this year, especially coming back from here, being active. I have been shopping with my new body postpartum. <laughs> I'm loving this new body. Oh, by the way, the belly got, got stretched so bad that I have I don't even gonna try to pronounce it, but I'm gonna put it right up here. Pictures of what's going on with me. I have diastatic recti. I don't know if I'm butchering it, but I just have Siri pronounce it for me, but I will put it on the screen. So currently I'm in physical therapy because um, my doctor had recommended physical therapy. She said that, you know, a few women experience stuff like this, overly stretched belly, and as you all know, this is my third kid, so of course, my belly stretched out really bad. So, that could fix the problem. So I'm going for physical therapy. I'm also doing the exercises at home. Because look, my goal is to fix the problem and, you know, get on a health, healthy lifestyle routine or whatever. I just want to be healthy and be there for my kids. Sorry, boo, sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to burp? Let me get the burping glove. Let me get the burping glove. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Oh, somebody's so tired. She said right now we're just going to do baby steps and then do like Pilates or something like that. And also, my husband asked if this will require surgery. And she said, not really. Even though I'm like four, four fingers apart right in my abdomen. Most women are two. But she said the fact that I'm, I'm healthy, I don't have all these different problems going on with me. She is certain that this can be fixed. So we're starting, the baby is almost two months, two months. So yeah, April 5th made, made her two months old. So I'm still in the initial stage, but we, we I'm certain that 
this will be fixed as I continue to go for physical therapy and doing the exercises at home. So that's one of the things that's um, going on with me postpartum. Apart from not getting enough sleep, which is understandable because I'm breastfeeding also. But other than that, we are doing great. Baby and I, healthy, we're doing great. And yeah, can't complain. You know, it could have been worse. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's about it. It's just a quick life update video. I just thought I should just come on here and just wing it because like you see, she just pretty much slept for 10 minutes, it's a 10 minutes video for 10 minutes. And I just wanted to keep you guys posted, you know, cause I know some of you guys have been reaching out and you've been messaging me and stuff like that. I don't just want to disappear and not keep you um, informed. <laughs> But thank you all. Thank you all so much for all the prayers, for all the well wishes. Thank you so much. And I'm currently working on creating a styling video, something like that. And I would love to style baby girl and style myself. I do have a couple of uh, outfit videos that I, I mean, how I'm dressing currently as a breastfeeding, you know, postpartum mom, what I've been wearing for doctor visits, for just, you know, staying in the house or just running errands. I mean, they're all comfortable, but yet still cute. So I can't wait to share with you guys. And I have a couple of haul videos I've been shopping. It'll be coming up in the next few weeks. So stay tuned. We are back and I am happy. I'm loving it. Baby girl and I will be styling some looks for you guys, mommy and me, so stay tuned. And thank you all so much for the love. Thank you all so much for the patience. And yeah, I'm excited to be back. If you wanna see more videos, styling videos, lifestyle videos coming soon, please go ahead and subscribe. We will be back. I bought a mic because I want my audio, you know, amped up this this time around, I elevate this whole video thing about the audio, but for some reason, it's not working with my Canon. And I'm visiting Emily Love right now, currently. So I would try to reorder another one before I film another video so you guys don't have to hear all the noise in the back. I apologize for that. It's a busy road where the office is at, so yeah. All right, guys, so that's it for the day. I'm going to end right here and try to feed her. And we will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye and have a fun day. Say bye-bye. No else to bye-bye. No. <laughs> Say bye-bye.